Hello there. Some people have asked me how I apply my artistic painting studio foils to Christmas ornaments and then epoxy them. So I thought that I'd walk us through the process. Um, I like these three inch plastic ornaments. I think it's a nice size. Of course, you can use any size you want. You can use glass if you want. Um, I prefer the plastic because I'm klutzy, <laughs> but that's just me. I also prefer these ones that have the big opening, but those are hard to find now. I think I have maybe two or three of these left from last year that I didn't use. And then the rest, everything else I'm finding this year has these, this little small opening, which is fine. It just makes it uh, a little more difficult to work with and put it on an epoxy turner. I have to do a good bit of um, creative engineering, but that's all right. They all turn out beautiful. So I have my Christmas ornaments. I have my Artsyville embellishments, foil adhesive, and I like to use a foam brush. So let's get started. You're just going to apply a thin layer like you would on anything else. Go all the way up to where the top fits onto the ornament. And then once I'm sure I have the entire thing covered with adhesive, um, there's a little something I like to do because sometimes I don't like brush strokes. I don't like to see the brush strokes. So in order to cover up the brush strokes and create a little different texture, a little interesting texture or pattern under the foils, I just pat it with my foam brush. You don't have to do this. And I don't do it on every single one of them. I like to make them each a little different. Adhesive is applied. I'll set it aside to dry and I'll see you in an hour. Okay, we're back. The adhesive has dried. It's nice and tacky and it's time to apply the foils. So I have a dark blue ornament here that I did that stipple or tap method on with my foam brush and I have this teal um, smooth one that I left the brush strokes on. And just for grins and giggles, we're gonna see how the same foil looks on each of these. So I am using Spicy Mama on both of these because let's face it, you can never have too much Spicy Mama. So I have cut it up into strips and we're just going to apply it. Take it and kind of lay it on here. I take, I have just an old, I don't know what kind of brush this is, just kind of some old brush. It's not really good for anything else but this. I sort of make sure it's all adhered down there with that. I'm going to go ahead and put another strip on here because I'm going to need to be able to hold on to both sides of this ornament without getting sticky stuff all over my hands. All right, I like to use a popsicle stick to make sure 
Everything is covered. Rub, rub, rub. Over here to this side. Rub, rub, rub. You can already see some of that nice texture coming through. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Some of that nice, just little stippled texture that I like. Now let's see where we are. It's a little more rubbing. I have found that Spicy Mama is one that needs a little more coaxing, if you will, a little more rubbing than some of the other ones. But it's all worth it in the end. And I like the aged appearance that it gives. That one off. And just keep going all the way around until you get the coverage that you want, which I'm going to do, and then I will be back in a minute. You guys, look at this. Oh, I love it already, and it doesn't even have epoxy on it yet. Oh my, all right, that's on the dark blue one. Now let's put the same foil, Spicy Little Mama, on this teal one that I left the brush strokes on. And we can see how it looks on not only the different colored ornament, but with um, the brush strokes underneath. Again, just put it on till you get the coverage that you want. Oh, I can't wait to see this one. Be right back when it's done. We interrupt our regular broadcast to bring you breaking news. <laughs> so last night after I was uh, finishing up with these and uh, late last night after I got one coat of epoxy on them, I love how they look, first of all. Look, look at that. Beautiful. But that seam is driving me mad. I don't like it, especially if I'm going to charge, what I'm going to charge for these. So, um, you know, and I said I didn't like the ones with these little openings anyway. They're difficult to work with. But look at that seam. I just feel like I don't like the seams. So, I had ordered some clear balls, bulbs, whatever, from um, Amazon. I, I, I like the colored ones because I think it makes a really rich background, but I can't find colored ones with these big openings. So I found clear ones and um, I'm experimenting a little bit with how to, how to color them, give them a, a richer background for the foils. I poured some alcohol ink in this one. You know, it's not great, but um, I'll put a foil on it and see what happens. I also, and I think this is going to work better, I sprayed the inside of this with spray paint. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to completely coat the inside, but I think it will give it, um, you know, some nice color. I could use, um, I could use like acrylic paint 
inside of them mixed with a little water, but mm, I'm, I'm too impatient for that because I want to, I want to get her done. So, um, so I will show you how these turn out as well. I also wanted to say, you know, last night, uh, or yesterday on the video, I said that I was cutting the foils into small strips and applying them. Well, after I stopped filming last night, I said, mm, <laughs> I'm too impatient for that. So I uh, cut like an eight by eight square of foil and just wrapped the whole ornament in it and just did like that all over. And it worked great. I had not done that before because I was afraid that I would waste foil. Didn't waste it at all because you do that. And then if you have little spots that aren't covered, you just go back with your foil because you've still got good foil on there. Just dab it on there and, and cover it up. So anyway, um, either way, the strips work or doing it this way works. This is much faster. Um, so I just wanted to um, tell you those little things and I will show you the finished product and um, everything else very soon. I am dying, dying in a good way. Oh my goodness. Look at what the same foil looks like on two different colors ornaments. Love, 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 love. These are going to look like a million bucks. All right, I'm going to go and I have 11 more ornaments to foil and then I'm going to put epoxy on them and then I'll be back to show you the results. I got so excited before I forgot I had to show you how to epoxy them. <laughs> so I've got some epoxy mixed up and I have a ball on a stick <laughs> and I'm just going to pour some epoxy on it and work it in all over. Push it up to the top, make sure that's all covered. That is going to be amazing. Then I'm going to put it on my turner. I have fashioned my tumbler turners so that they can accommodate these ornaments. Right, let's grab this one and epoxy it. I just love the smooth glass-like finish of epoxy on plastic ornaments. I um, have my artwork in a gallery and during Christmas time I put a Christmas tree up in my gallery room and put a bunch of ornaments on it that I've made. And um, when people are looking at them they think that they're glass. And I love to grab an ornament off the tree and say, no, no, they're shatterproof. And I bounce it on the floor and the looks on their faces is priceless. <laughs> it's so fun. So I sell a bunch of these at Christmas time. Because people are mesmerized by the color and shine. Look at that, that it looks like a million bucks. I went to an event at a very um, expensive um, nursery flower store home decor store the other day and you know they were selling ornaments that frankly didn't look as good as foiled ornaments for you know thirty dollars a piece I'm like yeah I don't think so I'll make my own thank you very much 
All right, there's number two, two down, 11 to go. I'll be back and show you when they're done. Okay, here is what I think is my last installment of this video on using Artistic Painting Studio foils on plastic Christmas ornaments. And if you have stuck with me so far, thank you very much because I'm doing this on the fly. All right, so it has been a busy 24 hours or so of making ornaments. And um, I wanna show you what um, I have shown you the process of making um, over the last 24 hours. So um, on this grouping, this is all um, spicy little mama. So this is on a clear ornament that I just put some purple alcohol ink in. And I'm really happy with that. Just putting some color on the inside of a clear ornament makes it uh, much more vibrant. And the darker the color, the more dramatic it is. There is Spicy Little Mama on one of the dark blue ornaments that I started out with showing you last night. And there is Spicy Little Mama on a clear ornament that I spray painted the inside of with a teal color. Love it. These three I had already done. These are orders for someone. Um, forgive me, I'm a little new at the Artistic Painting Studio Foils and I can't remember what the name of that one is, but Jen will be able to hop in and tell us. Um, here's another one that I did last night on, this is another dark blue, really, really, really dark blue ornament. Mm, that I think that too is Spicy Little Mama. This is a mis mishmash. I took leftover foils that I had and um, squish them onto a dark colored ornament. There is a red ornament that I put some blue foil on, a dark blue ornament that I put some light blue foil on. These are peacock. I didn't think that the peacock would work so well, but I am loving it. Here is an example of what I was talking about with brush strokes versus stippling. On this one, when I applied the adhesive, I patted it with my foam applicator and it gave kind of a stippled textured effect. This one I left the brush strokes and it actually works really well for this foil. Um, don't remember what that one is, but these are on all three different colors of ornaments. These also are spoken for. Somebody wanted really, really deep red ornaments. And again, I don't remember what foil this is, but it's brown. It's like, well, bronzy color. And I put it on um, deep red ornaments. Loving that. This is, a, I think, a new foil that was just released. I want to say Draco. I don't know if that's right. Forgive me. I I don't know, but I can I can figure it out if you, if you, um, you know, if you ask me, I'll figure out the name of it. These are on just clear ornaments. I did not put any color in or on them. Uh, let's see, that's Spicy Little Mama. I, that's my favorite, obviously, because um, it, uh, it just is a chameleon. It looks fantastic on so many things. This is the foil with the roses on it. Again, I don't remember the name. Uh, and this one is a combination of the roses and Spicy Little Mama. This is Spicy Little Mama on a teal ornament. I didn't paint it, that's how it, that's how it came. It was a teal ornament. This was a mishmash of foils that I had left over that I put on a teal ornament. And these are two blue foils that I put on dark blue ornaments. So if you have any questions, let me know. I, I'm still fairly new at this. 
um, and I may have missed something that is obvious to me that's not obvious to everyone else. So um, I am happy to help with anything that I can. Um, I'd love to see y'all's ornaments that you, that you do. And um, if I can help you, please let me know. Thanks for watching.